Yo, yo, guys, it's Old Man G here, back again, RDS man, and we've got some breaking, obviously, news, and uh, it's coming from Ormstein, who's dropped another bomb, and it's regarding McTomney, man, exclusive Napoli agreed deal with United for Scott McTominay, subject to Oparis being satisfied on player terms, 30 million euros plus percentage of future sales, important for MSC for FPA compliance, Man regards the potential signing would be aided by 27-year-old exes. So let's dissect this. Let's dissect this. I think the first thing is this. Scott McTominay and Napoli have agreed personal terms. I think that's the most important thing. It's not like uh, Scott McTominay is reluctant to go. He obviously wants more game time. He wants to play more football. And Napoli under Conte, you know, um, are, want him. And it's good to see more British players, I'll be quite frank, going abroad and getting game time. You know, we've seen... Um, Obviously, Conor Gallagher ain't going to play for Atletico Madrid. Now, Scott Matomi is going to play for Napoli. Ruben Loftus Cheek is in Milan, and so on and so, on, so forth. You know, so I think it's good seeing us players going board and doing their thing. I actually think that the Italian league war, um, and I think to be honest, even the Premier League, Matomi still for me is a Premier League player. Um, it's just, is he good enough for United? We'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But in the, in Syria, I think that uh, for what he needs to do, I think he'll be, I think he'll be good for Napoli. You know. Um, Especially now that Napoli signed Lukaku, or signing Lukaku anyway. Now, going on to the thing, obviously, there's obviously player terms, agreements, stuff like that. I suspect one of the key limiting factors is the payoff that United are going to sort of give, as well as pass the contract. There is that to negotiate, but I suspect that will be fine, as it was with Wan Bissaka. So I'm not really concerned about that. The percentage of the future sales is interesting. So are they thinking that Scott McTomb is going to be sold after? I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I guess we can make more money from that. And maybe they're doing that because, again, you know, this is pure profit. Scott Matom is an academy player, so this is very good from FPP one view. You've got to remember that um, United have sold, you know, certain Greenwood and McTominay, both academy players, and have made, I think we sold them for the G Greenwood for 30 mil and obviously McTominay, I think, for 30 mil euros, I think, each. You know, so that's, you know, 50 million pure profit, which is very good from an FFP point of view. Uh, and also uh, uh, Kwambala as well for, was he 10 million, I think? You know, so good academy player profit is the point. And that gives a very good leeway for uh, Manchester's FFP compliance, you know, so it's really, really important. Um, so that's so that's really good. Um, but also, and the last point of this is, this does aid Manuel Guard to come in. Now, now I, I, I think that as soon as McTominay's agreed, much like with um, what happened with Wamba Saka and um, uh, Mazwari coming in, I think as soon as um, McTominay's agreed, you know, Agati's going to be agreed. Agati's going to be agreed and I'll be fine. Um, so I think Agati is, is, is pretty much a here we go as soon as this obviously officially goes through, which I think it will. Um, I'll make my final point on this was be about, you know, I, I w wish Scott McTominay all the best, you know, um, I love Scott McTominay, you know. I don't think in his position as a midfielder he was the best. I actually think he should have been coached to be a striker. I'll be perfectly honest. This whole, he's tall, he's this something. He's a good finisher. He's a good finisher. And I don't know why he wasn't coached to be a striker because, for me, that's what he's naturally good at. And the reality is that, although there might be United fans that are celebrating Scott McTominay going away, at the end of the day, McTominay was our second highest goal scorer last season. And... And just like we let Cavani go, Ronaldo go, except these goal scorers, we've not replaced them. The only forward that we've come that, that has been brought into United from last season is Joshua Xerxes. And do you expect Joshua Xerxes to score and replace the goals that McTominay and others have done? I don't think so. He doesn't look to me like a, a player that's going to score 20 plus goals. So, you know, people need to bear that in mind. Okay. Just, just, just bear that in mind. We are going to miss Scott McTominay's goals. And I don't know where the additional goals are going to come from. And early signs I've seen in the season is United are going to control games, they're going to do things, but they're going to struggle to score goals. And that potentially might be United's downfall this season. Anyway, though, I wish Scott McTominay all the best in his future endeavours. He's been a great servant in the club, no drama or anything like that. He's done his thing, and I wish him all the best in Italy. But yeah, let me know what you think, guys, in the comments. Um, good move for Scott McTominay, good self, Manchester United. Thoughts down below. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a nice day, and cheers. Peace.